One of the problems with some of these cheaper weather radios is that there's no way to adjust the volume of the alert tone. At least on this one, there isn't. This is a Midland WR100, which I purchased around 2008 or 2009, so it's probably an obsolete model at this point, but other models might suffer from the same problem. Now you might be wondering why this would be an issue. You know, why would you want to quiet the alarm and potentially miss an alert for an emergency? Well, for me, I just find the alarm to be too obnoxious and it's way louder than it needs to be, especially in a small apartment or if you have the radio right next to your bed. Who wants to be blasted awake at 3 in the morning for a severe thunderstorm watch or a high wind advisory? And that's another thing with these, you can't select the specific alerts that you want to be notified for. It is same capable, so you can narrow down the alerts to just your county. But you can't say, like, I only want to receive notifications for a tornado warning or something. You just receive all of the alerts for your county. Well, whatever the reason is, this was my solution for quieting down the alarm tone. But before we get into this, I must advise that I don't recommend doing this, and I shall not be held responsible for any damage caused to your electronics or to yourself. With that out of the way, let's continue. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is remove the back cover here. Uh, it just is held on with Phillips screws. So there's some wires going to the antenna and the battery compartment, so I can't open this all the way. But you can see that resistor right there would normally not be there, and that's the modification. So all I did is you unsolder this one of the wires going to the speaker. I picked the the red one, which is the positive side, and then. So you remove that, and then you put the resistor, you solder that in between that wire and the speaker terminal, and that resistor limits the current going to the speaker. Now it should be mentioned that this is not the ideal way to do this. Normally the volume in an audio circuit should be controlled between the preamp and the power amp, and not right before the speaker. Putting resistance in series with the speaker can mess with the damping factor, and I've put a link in the description that goes over some of that. But since this is not a hi-fi stereo system or anything, it just doesn't matter that much. Uh, this was w much simpler than trying to figure out where the preamp output is in the circuit. You can see that I've used a 33 ohm resistor and you can experiment with different values to get the different levels of sound reduction that you want. But there's some math that we can do to get an idea of just how much we're reducing the volume here. Using Ohm's law, we can calculate the power as voltage squared divided by resistance, or we can multiply both sides by R and take the square root and we get voltage equals the square root of power times resistance. And we can use that second equation with knowing that the speaker is 8 ohms and has a half a watt power handling to get that the we're probably getting an, a 2 volt output from the power amp uh, maximum. And then since we're adding a 33 ohm resistor in series with the speaker, that gives us 41 ohms of resistance, and we divide 2 squared by that, and we get 0 0.097561. And then finally, we take 10 times log of the new power, divide by the old, the original power, and we get that the volume should have been reduced by around 7.1 decibels. Now one thing I'm aware of is that it's possible that with the, without the series resistance, the lower 8 ohms of the speaker impedance loads down the power amp more, and so the voltage is actually not, you know, is actually higher than 2 with the resistance. But I'm just simplifying things here. We're going to assume that the power amp has a very low output impedance, and so the speaker is not loading it down enough for that to be an issue. Okay, so that's one of the ways that you can reduce the volume on your weather radio. Now you want to remember that this reduces all of the sound that's coming from the speaker and not just the alert tone. So you want to turn the volume back up in order to get the voice signal back to where it was before the modification, but you should be able to do that. And then essentially it should work the same as it did before. So that's the end of this video. I will talk to you all later.